Even if they go to Gula and they hide, we are going to hunt for them. We are going to hunt for them and they must respond as why we are not deployed. We are not going to allow this business of running around with them. We are coming to Guru. We are coming to Guru. We are coming to Government of DBC is a government of DBC. a government of DBC. We are 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 government of DBC. We are Prime Minister Twa Mwandi Kira Kwe gamba boli mwenene mu government Ensonga zafe Twa mutu kako Mungere emu wabendala Na ye wanaba siri fu Wanaba linga haba feda Haba tali uo Bula joo kuogera Ne president kululi tuwa li soroti Ensonga zafe ya zihuli rabulu unji Na ye ya siri ka Eno responsibility Eno mandate which Jemute kukula si okutu kiriza It is not a favor you are doing unto us Temuli temuli tu yamba kubu yambi guno muli mo gua gua mwe bina biya 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 mute koko la ko so should we take it seriously? Muchitoa lenge nsonge nkulu enyo musa wa entone enyo mula benga mukola chi esente zo zebaba saba minzo yethi ya gamba ijeta na 18.7 billion muzifune muchitoa le muintanishi la kwa sente muzi ina juzi mawa roko billion bisatu. Kululi mwawa aya, bilio ni bitani. Bantu lukumi mubi vili. Tueta ga just 18 bilio. Busente butono nyo. Na ye, musirise. We muna agano kubiko lako. Tugenda batu wala mbuga za koti. Mwoze. Na wala muzi. Tulabe. Dr. Zedek ya Sechonda. Ndi msa wa mutende kina. Yanga tali deployed. Tali mkukola. Mpuku wangabu nabwe njina. Mutudeke wakaku wanga government. Egani ukunzi ni kama duari doko sabo kwa hizi bana Uganda ni pwanga. Ishuku ngani zana nuna kuwari yuko ongera kula gabo tarib matibu wa feri government. Kuli de gezanti. Ukusoma kwa fete kuli na kufira wewe. Kwa soma tu mazeti ya kamili jamu somero tu ino kuvere langa tusi ni kama bana Uganda tu ba wewe zee. Na yeye government e siri senyo. Parliament e asubu zanti no egena ku egena kusaba cabinet. E tese kusoka zafu. E iso gumbi yuko mno mna na ukusenta ubutoni nyio. Ukusinzi langa bana bogo mumani. So we are deployed. Tell you this, sir. I think that we are going to do something. But if we are going to do something, we are going to do something. 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 We are going to do Okufuna obuja njabi maruwa lido. Aga government na malaba interns jibakola. Kakati ya di government yobu inaba nge sidi sijitegeza. Tefude yoku la mugu waba ntuba yefaba ino kole chintu echu. Na yete mchisobo de atemu di mkutegeza ba na Uganda. Kwa wetuli ya banji nyobu mtasuwa kutiploinga. Tuwa kala mube elebe simbu mkutegeza ba na Uganda. Nchi obula mbu wabwe. Tebu cha matari inga jemuli. Mchiba gambe bu gambi. Tutuja fakula mubu wa mwe. Tufakubia fi. Na government. Ichuchia tu tu zama mani na fetu mani, tino kusoma kofe kwa fira bure, idamu hali mtu limba kusoma science. My name is Dr. Katoko Daisy, currently an undeployed medical pre-intern, a doctor. It is absurd the issue at hand with the subject in notion being deployment of all medical interns, which entails doctors, nurses of bachelor's degrees, and the pharmacists and the dental surgeons. It is said that when we talk of deployment of medical interns, majority of the persons tend to think that that's the doctors, but no. It is a group of four different cadres, and we are here demanding that government offer us deployment as soon as yesterday. Some of the issues we are discussing here are very absurd. It should not reach that extent of us coming out to the streets asking for us. If you hear the things we are asking for, we are asking to give, to, to give ourselves 48 hour shifts, tireless hours of working with very minimal pay, one million people. That is very minimal pay. But this is what we are asking for. Why? Because we chose to do this profession out of passion and we want to serve our country. 
but then you have a government that does not allow people to have access to healthcare. We all know that the first point of contact to a healthcare worker for most of the Ugandans is a medical intern. Our seniors have come out to say no. The excuses of seniors are not enough in healthcare facilities is not correct. The seniors are there, they are ready to facilitate us in whatever way. But the ministry, together with the persons responsible, have delayed deliberately delayed our deployment. I said deliberate, why? Because this is an annual challenge. We have this challenge happening year after year after year. If it happened once, we would say okay, right? But it's an annual challenge. It keeps happening year after year. So we want answers. Is the Ministry of Health together with the government of Uganda deliberately denying us deployment? and in turn deliberately denying the persons of Uganda, all the citizens of Uganda access to health care. We're talking about standard access to health care, standard health care, which we, the medical interns, as the front lines of health care delivery services in this country are at. So we are demanding for deployment, 